Four people are dead, a fifth in critical condition tonight after a shooting in Ohio with local ties. Police believe it may be a case of murder-suicide. It happened Monday. A Westside High graduate who grew up here in Augusta is one of the victims shot and killed. Crime scene tape surrounds the home in Clarendon County, Ohio, that belonged to the Kane family. Neighbors say the house was in foreclosure and deputies arrived to serve eviction papers when shots rang out. It's hard for anybody to understand this. Mary Kay Victor and her husband Joe say they walk the family dogs in this neighborhood every day and says she heard about the murders from her son-in-law who lives next door to where the shots were fired. First of all, prayers for this family that I can't even imagine what they're going through. The sheriff there says the victims are 50-year-old Stephen Kane, 46-year-old Teresa Kane, 74-year-old William Felton, and 13-year-old Ethan Kane. The sheriff says 20-year-old Samantha Kane is in critical condition. Stephen Kane was known as the lead singer for a band, Critical Chaos, which plays groove thrash metal, according to the band's website. Steve Kane grew up here in Augusta in the National Hills neighborhood. He went to Westside High School, and family and friends describe him as a great guy, someone you never saw angry or upset. He posted this poem he wrote called Look at the Flowers on his Facebook page just a day before the murders. One of the lines reads, look at the flowers and think of better days. His eighth grade son Ethan's school reflected on those better days today. Teachers and staff members were in, in tears today. The superintendent says teachers today closed the textbooks and allowed students to talk about the death of their classmate. Just a, a bright young life has been extinguished like this. We have a large bulletin board that kids could just post post notes. It's, it's their message. It's it's what they want Ethan to know. And I, I, it will bring tears to your eyes. That these kids, it's it reached home with them today. Deputies up there in Ohio say they are not looking for any suspects at this time. They do believe this to be a murder suicide, but they're waiting on those autopsy results to be sure of who the suspect and the victims were in the case.